Hey everyone, um, it is six o'clock, Saturday, Wednesday evening, <clears throat> so um, I'm only doing the introduction now, not good. Uh, look, I mean, kind of living in the office the last uh, few days, it's just that kind of weather. Sorry about that, the phone rang. So, um, just by the time of the year it is, I just seem to be either in the office the whole time, or on the road, or meeting people. Um, but, uh, Hopefully next few days I have something slightly more interesting to discuss. Um, but just here, I didn't didn't video it. But uh, one of the jobs we were at on Monday was just cleaning the workshop. So I don't know. I know it's still absolutely overrun. But you have no idea how much better this is. So there was a pallet right here. Um, with a big drum that we used as a bin. The problem was that the bin got full. And the pallet was in the way. So it kind of overfilled the bin. And overfill down and along here over to here so we managed to get rid of all that stuff I just sent it to the the dump and uh, we uh, got this trailer you can't actually see it in the dark any better yeah just barely better so uh, that trailer was parked there um, and it uh, it was half full of steel and now it's 90% full of steel so we have hopefully now in the next few days I'll get in under there and in under there and fill off the trailer and go on with it and um, then we have a, a, a lad who's about a million times better well than I am is going to come and uh, finish off the shelves along here and uh see there's the steel first and uh at that point then we'll um have shelves for everything so hopefully we'll get this oh yeah and then we're also going to get i see all these barrels here full of burnt oil if anybody actually knows where to um properly correctly dispose of burnt oil let me know um but uh we're going to put a shelving unit in there and this lad here um, it was an old tundish uh, for when daddy used to roll barley and put in hats and bags so it was a hopper an old fertilizer spreader and it used to be on a trap door and you'd put the pallet forks under it and um, put a bag on the pallet forks and you'd fill it but uh, um, that, uh, that fertilizer spreader was one of the first things to go on the first load I got rid of of steel so anyway that is going to be put over the other shed and it's gonna you see the way the other shed works is um if i draw it so there's uh the shed is like that and then there's three doors the shed is like that and then there's three doors one two three so this door and this door opens but this one hasn't been opened in a couple of years so i'm gonna put that stand in here then I'm going to put boards over it and then I'm going to put the add blue on top of it so that we can pass the pipe out the door to fill the tractor or you just drive the front of the tractor in and fill up because at the moment we have to put the add blue onto the forklift or the IVC of add blue onto the forklift and then lift it up to the height of the um, to the add blue tank in the tractor which is an absolute nuisance especially when the JCV has gone um, and the uh, barrel was great only for the fact that it takes so long and then the barrels are more expensive and all that so now we have the ibc and we just have to get it up high enough and the big advantage of this yoke is that it'll be up high enough for the um combine that i can just back the combine in and fill up rather than having to um lift it up again which i have to do with the barrel so look i know it's still fairly very messy but a lot better than it was. So, so for, the, was. for the rest of the video, I kind of went over my phone over the last week and I have actually quite a few videos um, that I made during the summer with the intention of uh, making a proper video and uploading it. So there's a small snippet of um, cutting silage that I was in the harvester and I was on a trailer for long draw and then when the long draw was over, I came home and put the buck rake on the 704. Um, so there's that there's another one of spreading dung um you know there's a whole bunch of little bits of videos so i'm just gonna edit them all in and 
upload them and at least you'll see that I didn't completely forget about this side of things. But anyway, that, that's me for this video and uh, I'll see you on Sunday. Okay, so hopefully you can hear me. I just want to show you is this. See, this is uh, two paths of the disc harrow. Um, not sufficient at all. Uh, and then you come out here and you see this is after a run of the grubber at deep. And if you come up here, you'll see where we ran it very deep. Um, you can see there, like. Uh, but this area here is going to be an issue. There's another one up in that corner, another one over there. We had originally thought here was compacted because it's where the gateway is. But, um, phone. But anyway, just wanted to show you this, so we're going to end up having to plow this field. So we're back here in the field, you can see where it got a little wet during the month of March. Spreading here with the alley. Don't know if you can see the annex in the corner there. Um, disking away. Barley looking pretty good. A little bit of yellowness in the odd place. Um, it actually got its first dose of liquid nitrogen yesterday. And uh, that particular field, and um, more of it go. Um, that he's tipping away at it. I don't. You probably can't see the MX just there. Falling up. Probably going back to the yard for lunch. Yeah. Oh, getting too close to the river. So this will be left to dry out until tomorrow and it'll be just a second time and then we hope to either sow it tomorrow afternoon or uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, we're going back uh, contract sowing in the evening time. Or sorry on Saturday I mean. You don't want to look at that. Oh well I do. Um, just uh, chatting to Pottinger about uh, the disc drill, uh, and uh, I was gonna get on the Lemkin, but uh, the um, uh, the price of fertilizer and the price of diesel and everything decided to hold off for another year. Should uh, give it enough. Let's see some of the stuff that came back after the sheep raised it. Gabby Tanker. I'll just show you here. So you see, this sledge folded up to here. The sledge came up there and went there, and the sledge plate went on. So we need a little bit of luck. This tanker got a wash later. So I'm just in the fence here now, doing a little bit of subsoiling before I hitch up to the drill. Oh, I'll just have to discard this bit. There's the dog. Um, we're doing three kilometers an hour.
So hopefully you can hear me this time. Cause I know last back end I made a video and you couldn't hear me. Um, so we're just running two legs in the sub here at the moment. So it means I'm having to go twice. It's just, uh, there's been a lot of traffic from there up around the back of the sheds and back down again. So it's just uh, taking it out of it. And then we'll run it with the disc arrow and uh, drill it in with that batter sad there. So I'll let you see that in a bit. Just up sunny another field here. Um, more uh, to cover up this last field grazed so it hasn't come on as well before it's sprayed off so looking good. You can see here it's fairly compact. There's a subsoiler. Very small subsoiler. Heading on too badly. Oh, it's just going to be a little slow going. But we'll manage. There's Daddy giving a fly in the liquid nitrogen. The phone doesn't give a, the camera doesn't give a fair representation of the hill. So I'm plowing away here. Um, I think it's going to be uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Arable silage and um, peas and barley, is what the farmer was thinking. Um, and then he's reseeding the fields over there. It's 14 acres here. Yeah, so the 724 is going well. Um, needs. Uh, he's going to get his head gasket done now in the next little while. But other than that no complaints you can just see my spade there I'll show you my weights on the front in a while and then the spade is just kind of jammed in between two of them because I don't have a spade carrier on this tractor and I'm not massively interested in carrying it in the cab with me um, but we're plowing up reasonably well um, I put a bit of grass on it so the odd little bit of uh, scotch being left oh, wet spot I oh, no. Back to go through with no water. I probably have slightly too big a tractor on a 5 or a plough, but anyway, as I said, it was the only thing available. But we're getting on grand. Uh, 
And if you can see here, there's a wet spot which we'll have to stay around or have to plow around. Um, and truth be told, we had this ground in tillage for six or seven years. Um, so it's going back into organics now. And uh, first crop into it, it'll be barley and uh, peas. I think, or maybe those peas. Something along them lines, anyway. So just as I said, I'm ploughing here with the 724 and the 5-4 plough.
back in here. So yeah, so we're uh, gonna tip on. driving the harvester. I used to always drive the harvester and for most of the first cut I was driving the pit and I will be back in the pit now in a while. Uh, one of your lads is on the pit for now while I draw and then when we get the long draw done he's gonna go off bailing. As you can see daddy drives a different than I do. <laughs> 